Hi everyone, uh, I guess I'm going to be doing a digital painting of, um, uh, a lot of people are still asking how I do my digital painting. So today I'm going to walk you through um, this uh, Hellboy painting, and I'm going to be using a software called Mischief, and you can find that at madeformischief.com. Um, so what I'm running now is on my MacBook Pro and my Cintiq tablet, so as you can see, this is me drawing. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is this is the uh, this is the uh, digital painting of uh, of Hellboy uh, with his um, I guess full horn and a crown of light or flame. So um, normally what I do is um, most of my uh, I'll turn off a lot of this layer. So this is the paper layer. So I'm just gonna go white. So I'm gonna show you. So um, I'm going to show you the uh, the layer itself. So this is what the digital painting looks like. Um, this is my layer palette. So I'm going to do is going to start turning a lot of the the stuff off. So I'm going to turn off some signatures. Then I'm going to turn on the rough sketch so you can see how I did my painting. Okay. So my initial painting uh, or my initial start is always starting with a the first layer and this layer is basically a blue line sketch I would pick some sort of blue then I would just go in and you know uh, you know this is just the rough of the, the, the character and uh, this is uh, my initial sketch after I do the the sketch I would create a new layer and this layer is the ink layer so in this case, what I did was I picked a really dark, um, really dark red, as you can see from my, oops, as you can see from my color palette here, that this is a, a really dark um, red tone. So that's pretty much what I do is I go over the actual line with my brush and as you can see, this is my, uh, my sketch. From there, what I do is I create a new layer and I would drop in a base tone. And basically I pick a red tone. So as you can see my color spectrum here, there's my red. It's probably this, uh, let's see, which one is this? So it's probably uh, this guy here, or this a little bit darker. And I would paint that as my base tone. So in this example, what I'll do is um, I'll show you what I do. Um, so the next thing what I would do is I would drop in and I would get a darker tone. And I would basically create this um, shadow. Um, my objective was to actually have flames above his head. So that will shine down on his head and, you know, cause shadow down here. Uh, after that, I would throw in, this is my highlight pass. So if you really want to see what it looks like, this is what it looks like. So that's the, the highlight glass. I'll turn off the flame there. So, uh, and I'll turn off the uh, pencil sketch so you can see it. So this is pretty much is what I create depth with. Um, so by adding that on, as you can see, that's how I create my depth on the character. Then after the depth, uh, you know, there's the, uh, you can cause more depth is just basically by adding shadows. And you just gotta need to know where to put the shadows. Um, because you need to remember where the lights are coming from. Um, so I have some lights coming from here on the side and, and, and so forth. Then after that, because I knew there was going to be some yellow in there because of the flame. So a lot of this I'm picturing in my head. So within that yellow is what you're seeing here is where the lights are. Um, in, uh, so you can see. Okay. Um, after that, um, then pretty much I'm uh, you're pretty much like 90% done. Um, the other tweaks are really simple. So what I do is I would go to my paper layer, basically my base layer, and I would pick a color. So in this case, I'll just pick something a little bit lighter like that so you can actually see on video. Then I would go through and I would use my paintbrush tool and pretty much do a slow brush like this as you can see this caused a flame because in most flame there's always the um the i guess the outer edge 
then as you get closer on the inside it's more yellow then if you want more intense flame it's usually blue but if you go white it it does it so this is a to the white layer so you can see the the individual elements so this is how I would layer on my my element then later on what I did was I said okay well maybe I could add a little bit more so I use a this is a little bit more of a white tone and that's tossed on top like that okay so that is pretty much the basic of the the, the color sketch okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the original and I'll switch back to white okay and I will turn off these layers and I will start painting and show you based on the based on this scale layer and what I'm gonna do is instead of um, doing red like this all right so well let's so let's do that okay so what I'm gonna do is I will probably how do I do this okay so let's start here so I'm gonna create this new layer right here so I would go in and first of all pick my base tone um, I don't want it too dark I'm gonna go with a little bit in between so I'm gonna go with that uh, my third red so you might ask how do I pick the the colors and stuff like that is basically I usually go up and down on my um, uh, so I'll just draw it out for you so you can see this is my um, um, my color my color palette and this is normally black down here and as you get to a lighter you know this is dark light and this is white right this so I normally go this is really really black then I would go up something like this as you go up percentage wise you can say that's a 10% and so forth and, and you know you can just work within the space here to give you whatever color tonage you want so I can go over here so you can see a little bit different there like that that will give me that color if I go down this way that will give me that color I go down that way that will give me uh, that color so I'll just make the brush a little bit bigger so you can see see as I go up so by by doing this this allows me to stay within that tone so the lighter it gets so that's how I, I, I make my, my tone now uh, because I'm using a solid brush this gives me this tone color if I switch to a transparent brush so this is my transparent blur brush down here so what happens is when you do a transparent brush you can see oops let's let's pick let's go with that color so you can actually see so when I first apply the layer that's what it looks like as I add it gets darker right so as I go up in tone, you can see it gets lighter. So you can get this blending effect on the layer. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean that out. So I'll go back to this, switch my solid brush, and pretty much I just go in and paint like this. Because this isn't like, a, if you have Photoshop or um, any other paint based software uh, most paint based software or, or drawing software out there will give you a layer uh, so you don't have to get this software called mischief um, so I'm just gonna quickly give it an outline like this so this is what I do I'm gonna show you quickly Oops, make the brush because I don't have a bucket tool here I'm just gonna See how big is this video? See the leg? That's because I'm using QuickTime. All right. So that's normally what I do. Next step is I create a new layer. All right. So let's let's do what I was doing. Uh, I'm gonna create shadows. So I go back to this color and I'm just gonna go like a little bit darker. Select my brush layer and I'm just gonna create some shadow under the eyes and, and so forth so I pretty much go over like that because I, I want I want that ominous um, 
um, want that ominous. So there's usually some shadow under the nose, uh, a little bit under the chin, something like this, and under the neck, maybe a bit at the ear, somewhere around the ear, just to give it. So as you can see, as I go over that area, now. If I fine tune this brush a little bit more, this will give me a nicer edge. But I have the eraser tool, which I can give myself a little bit more of a sharp, sharp, um, sharp cut to it. Okay, so I can do this around the edge. Go back to this layer. Go around the nose. There we go. And because this is vector base, you can see. I can just zoom in a little bit more and do a little bit more of a cleanup. There, like that. Okay. So let, let's concentrate on his face so, so I can give you an idea of how this is all, all being done. So, uh, so I'll just go back and finish the shadow a little bit more. That. Okay. At this point, I'm, I'm not um, concerned too much. This is my layer. I can just go back and, and, and tweak it a little bit more. Okay. So just give it um, a little bit more character depth, I guess. Um, maybe a little bit under here. Some, something like this. And just put a couple straddler. Maybe a little bit of shadow down here. Like that. Right, unless you want, um, unless you want it some sort of uh, source of light coming from this direction too, and you know it's okay to, to layer down the shadow, the the shadow layer. So right now, really my 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 light source is 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 coming from the top, so it's coming down on the character's head. So you know this is uh, uh, that's his head, so it's coming down right here because this is where the flame is going to be. Okay. So I'll just keep forgetting about the undo button. There we go. Okay. So that's the next thing. Then I go to the next layer. Then from there, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more to give my brush size a little bit bigger. So my next layer is I just go up a little bit more. Um, but because I'm using that light, I'm just going to go up a little higher. Go back to my brush tool. Select my brush palette. Now this is where um, it's just basically experiencing on your software. Now if, if I come here and I do this, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So as you can see, as I paint in this space, I'm starting to create this look. So there's some light. So I'm now defining some sort of tone. There we go. Right? Because there's some light coming from here, and you know, it, I'm, I'm just brushing it and causing it a nice soft, like that. Hellboy has this, you know, something like this. This gives you a little bit more definition. Widen the brush a little bit, and uh, like that. Okay, so now I'm just starting to make some edges. Maybe this is a little bit like that. Right. See, we can see um, maybe big bigger like that. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it back. Uh, I'm just gonna say his he's got a predominant um, cheekbone like that. Uh, I guess he, he is a demon. Um, so. As you can see, okay, so let's pull back a little bit so you, so you have an idea. Alright, so I'm going to put some a little bit of, of, of highlight over the ear. Alright, so as I go over the spot, you can see a little bit better. Let me change the background to a little bit darker so you have an idea what it looks like. There we go. Okay. So now, as I go over that spot, right, uh, make sure you're on the same layer there. So I'm on a, on a little bit of highlight layer. I want like that. 
So now I'm, I'm, I'm actually creating a, a definition or for the for the, uh, the character. I want a little bit maybe you know that big thick muscle right there. It's okay if you go beyond that. Um, some software like the Adobe Photoshop, Manga Studio, and stuff like that, they they have a, um, a feature um, called transparency lock. That means that you can lock transparency and go over this edge here with a, and it doesn't you know doesn't draw a lot of attention. Let's see, it doesn't uh, cause a streak. But what I do is for me, it's just I go over it because I can just come in see with a nice sharp eraser or a sharp edge and just erase that away and just come back here gives you an idea what it looks like there we go so this is you know a bit normally I would take my time for this um, but I'm just going really quick to show you uh, uh, I think that could be a highlight yep pick that layer now um, as you can see I, I just go through and you know I'm jumping from layer to layer to layer like that um, that's because you know if you're you're not you're, you're not very comfortable with um, uh, if you're still new at this you can still go back and, and, and fix it so let's go up the top of the head a little bit and you know give them a bit more because we, we know there's gonna be a lot of uh, light up here so I'm just gonna give them you know a sheen up on top maybe a sheen right there and we know for sure this will be a sheen right there so you know you try to you rotate your canvas rotate your device rotate whatever it is that you need to do to give you so I'm just gonna give them a little bit of uh, some bumps here to say hey look he's got a thick forehead because this horns coming out and it's doing something to his head right um, like that so I just give it a little bit more. So now as you can see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm creating a, a little bit of a, a depth for him. And as you can see, I can go through this spot and just keep going over and over and over, right? So you can end there or something like that, but in most cases, because there's going to be red flames, uh, a little bit lighter and stuff like that. Um, if you like the the, the the way it looks now you can just basically collapse the, the but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create another layer and maybe go a little bit of a higher uh, or just go back to this color and just go up and yeah, right around there or something like that now I can go over with a little bit finer and you can see it's starting to create this see it's starting to just go over certain areas if you want a little bit for example this right here so it looks like it's more of a white right like that around the edge of the ear like that right if you want see I'm not really doing anything um, there we go. I don't think I'm doing anything fantastic. I'm just trying to create depth. And that's what I'm doing here is just by layering on. Uh, there we go. I'm just trying to create some sort of depth on the character. Right? And you can just go like that. Because I know the, the light will shine between the horn. So that will give the, the character a little bit more. Okay, so starting to repeat myself here sorry sorry everyone um, so you know you can just add a little bit here and there now after that I'm, I'm pretty much you know if, if you're satisfied with the way it looks and stuff like that then you can do the rest of the other stuff too so let me in here like the same way I, I would do the eyes for example let's make the eye um, uh, something yeah let's do this nice purple so I go in and put in a solid purple and actually it's a horrible horrible idea let's go with the yellow there we go here is the eyes because uh, if you notice I'm just painting around that's because if I turn off the ink layer here on top this is what you're looking at right you can fine-tune it go in and stuff like that but this is what I'm doing 
So for example, I did this, but I'm just going to paint right on top of it. I'm just going to go with a lighter yellow with a transparency brush and just pull back. So now I'm just doing this. Oh, look at that. So I'm creating this glow as I go over, as I pass over it, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Now, most cases, if he's got a glowing eyes then you're going to have to have some sort of cast. So I'm just going to pull a little bit more from here. So that gives you, I don't want too much, just enough, right? That, that right there is too much, right? So I just take the brush and just clean that out. Just go over it again, right? So it's a good idea to actually create a layer if you make a mistake because I wiped off some other stuff that was in there too. So, you know, a little bit like that. So, all these let's just go with a little darker yellow. That should have been. So, as you can see, I can do this. Because I know I'm gonna, it's going to be some sort of a little yellow here just to give it as if the flames coming off the, uh, the crown and you can see a little bit of it like that so that gives it a bit more depth so you can see as I get better and or, or something and I just add more if I need it to you know that gives it that, that. but in most cases I'll probably just go almost a yellow white and that would give it like that So I'm just exaggerating here, of course, but so let's let's say it's you know that's my masterpiece there, right? So ideally, it's really I'll turn these guys off. I'll just compress them. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So if I actually go back to the original, this is what it looks like. There's the shadow. There's my highlight. A little bit more so I added yellow instead so I cause more yellow flame and then I have this white space right there we go okay so now that we got that let's uh, do the background so what I'm gonna do is create a new layer so let's say that I have a I guess a pencil brush or a brush tool that lets you do this it's it's a noise brush it's just noisy like you know right so what I do with that is because you know you have to figure out what kind of flame you want to do right so let's if I if, for example if I want blue flames I would start with like a really dark base that's how I, I work anyways so I just zoom back out a little bit more so you can so it's actually pretty small my canvas what that allows me to do is give me a larger brush area right again my transparency on my brush is you know maybe I'll go down to about 35 36 around there and I just basically you know paint the direction so because I'm I'm doing a blue flame it should be you know and this is just my background so I'm using an airbrush tool. It's not so actually for you to see it properly. I need to go to a blue. That's too close. There we go. So this is my my flame. Okay, so that's my first base, right? Then I create a second layer. Maybe I'll go a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna jump a little bit higher up and you can see, and I'm just, based on my brush size and brush strokes. It's got to do this randomness so it looks like some sort of flame. Like 
that. Okay, then eventually, I guess, we're going to go with a more intense. So that's pretty much how I go about doing that. So the end result, of course, is, right, uh, here is the red, right? And over here, I know I probably put a lot more yellow in this one layer. Just paint on uh, the, the flames I want than the white just to cause that more of a, a blow. So uh, as things get close to the center, it's it's more white and, and whatnot. So as I can see, I can just basically change my, there we go, my tone. And so we end up with with our Hellboy character okay I hope you enjoy it uh, questions comment uh, head over to my Google Plus uh, check out my collection for my uh, daily stuff uh, you'll see my link to my Instagram account uh, and and whatnot um, let me know what you think all right thanks a lot here we go okay one, two, three. Testing, testing. Hi, everyone. Uh, I guess I'm going to be doing a digital painting of um, uh, a lot of people are still asking how I do my digital painting. So today I'm going to walk you through um, this uh, Hellboy painting. And I'm going to be using a software called Mischief. And you can find that at madeformischief.com. Um, so what I'm running now is on my MacBook. Pro and my Cintiq tablet. So as you can see, this is me drawing. Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do is this is the uh, this is the uh, digital painting of uh, of Hellboy uh, with his uh, I guess full horn and a crown of light or flame. So um, normally what I do is um, most of my uh, I'll turn off a lot of this layer. So this is the paper layer. So I'm just going to go white. So I'm going to show you. So um, I'm going to show you the uh, the layer itself. So this is what the digital painting looks like. Um, this is my layer palette. So what I'm going to do is going to start turning a lot of the, the stuff off. So I'm going to turn off some signatures. Then I'm going to turn on the rough sketch so you can see how I did my painting. Okay, so my initial painting, uh, or my initial start, is always starting with a the first layer. And this layer is basically a blue line sketch. I would pick some sort of blue, then I would just go in and, you know, uh, you know, this is just the rough of the, the, the character. And uh, this is uh, my initial sketch. After I do the, the sketch, I would create a new layer, and this layer is the ink layer so in this case what I did was I picked a really dark um, really dark red as you can see from my oops as you can see from my color palette here that this is a, a really dark um, red tone so that's pretty much what I do is I go over the actual line with my brush and yes you can see this is my uh, my sketch. From there, what I do is I create a new layer and I would drop in a base tone. And basically, I pick a red tone. So, as you can see, my color spectrum here. There's my red. It's probably this. Uh, let's see, what, which one is this? So, it's probably uh, this guy here, or this little bit darker. And I would paint that as my base tone. So, in this example, what I'll do is. Um, I'll show you what I do. Um, so the next thing what I would do is I would drop in and I would get a darker tone. And I would basically create this um, shadow. Um, my objective was to actually have flames above his head. So that will shine down on his head and, you know, cause shadow down here. Uh, after that, I would throw in, this is my highlight pass. 
So if you really want to see what it looks like, this is what it looks like. So that's the, the highlight flash. I'll turn off the flame there. So, uh, and I'll turn off the uh, pencil sketch so you can see it. So this is pretty much is what I create depth with. Um, so by adding that on, as you can see, that's how I create my depth on the character. Then after the depth, uh, you know, there is the, uh, you can cause more depth is just basically by adding shadows. And you just gotta need to know where to put the shadows um, because you need to remember where the lights are coming from. So I have some lights coming from here on the side and, and, and so forth. Then after that, because I knew there was gonna be some yellow in there because of the flame, so a lot of this I'm picturing in my head. So within that yellow is what you're seeing here is where the lights are um, in, uh, so you can see, okay? Um, after that, um, then pretty much, I'm uh, you're pretty much like 90% done. Um, the other tweaks are really simple. So what I do is I would go to my paper layer, basically my base layer, and I would pick a color so in this case I'll just pick something a little bit lighter like that so you can actually see on video then I would go through and I would use my paintbrush tool and pretty much do a slow brush like this as you can see this caused a flame because in most flame there's always the, um, the I guess the outer edge then as you get closer on the inside it's more yellow then if you want more intense flame it's usually blue but if you go white it it does it so this is a to the white layer so you can see the the individual elements so this is how i would layer on my my element then later on what i did was i said okay well maybe i could add a little bit more so i use a this is a little bit more of a white tone and that's tossed on top like that okay so that is pretty much the basic of the, the, the color sketch, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the original and I'll switch back to white, okay? And I will turn off these layers. And I will start painting and show you based on, the, based on this scale layer, and what I'm going to do is instead of um, doing red like this, all right? So, well, let's so let's do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will probably how do I do this? Okay. So let's start here. So I'm going to create this new layer right here. So I would go in and first of all pick my base tone. Um, I don't want it too dark. I'm going to go with a little bit in between. So I'm going to go with that, uh, my third red. So you might ask, how do I pick the, the colors and stuff like that? It's basically, I usually go up and down on my, um, uh, so I'll just draw it out for you. So you can see, this is my, um, um, my color, my color palette. And this is normally black down here. And as you get to a lighter, you know, this is dark, light. And this is white like this so I normally go this is really really black then I would go up something like this as you go up percentage wise, you can say that's a 10% and so forth and, and you know you can just work within the space here to give you whatever color tonage you want so I can go over here so you can see a little bit different there like that that would give me that color if I go down this way that will give me that color I go down that way that will give me uh, that color so I'll just make the brush a little bit bigger so you can see see as I go up so by by doing this this allows me to stay within that tone so the lighter it gets so that's how I I, I make my, my tone now uh, because I'm using a solid brush this gives me this tone color if I switch to a transparent brush, so this is my transparent brush down here. So what happens is when you do a transparent brush, you can see, oops, let's, let's pick, let's go with that color so you can actually see. So when I first apply the layer, that's what it looks like. As I add, it gets darker. 
right? So as I go up in tone, you can see it gets lighter. So you can get this blending effect on the layer, okay? So I'm just gonna clean that out. So I'll go back to this, switch my solid brush, and pretty much I just go in and paint like this. Because this isn't like, a, if you have Photoshop or um, any other paint-based software, uh, most paint-based software or, or drawing software out there will give you a layer. Uh, so you don't have to get this software called Mischief. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly give it an outline like this. So this is what I do. I'm gonna show you quickly. Oops, make the brush. Because I don't have a bucket tool here, I'm just gonna let's see how big is this video. See the leg? That's because I'm using QuickTime. All right. So. That's normally what I do. Next step is I create a new layer, right? So let's let's do what I was doing. Uh, I'm gonna create shadows. So I go back to this color and I'm just gonna go like a little bit darker, select my brush layer, and I'm just gonna create some shadow under the eyes and, and so forth. So I pretty much go over like that. Cause I, I, want, I want that ominous, um, um, want that ominous so there's usually some shadow under the nose uh, a little bit under the chin something like this and under the neck maybe a bit the ear somewhere around the ear just to give it so as you can see as I go over that area now if I fine tune this brush a little bit more this will give me nicer edge but I have the eraser tool which I can give myself a little bit more of a sharp sharp um, sharp cut to it okay so I can do this around the edge go back to this layer go around the nose there we go and because this is vector base you can see I can just zoom in a little bit more and do a little bit more of a cleanup there like that okay so let, let's concentrate on his face so, so I can give you an idea of how this is all all being done so uh, so I'll just go back and finish the shadow a little bit more like that okay at this point I'm, I'm not um, concern too much this is my layer I can just go back and, and, and tweak it a little bit more okay so just give it um, a little bit more character depth I guess um, maybe a little bit under here some, something like this and just put a couple straddler maybe a little bit of shadow down here like that right unless you want um, unless you want it some sort of uh, source of light coming from this direction too and you know it's okay to, to layer down the shadow the, the shadow layer so right now really my 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 light source is, is is coming from the top so it's coming down on the character's head so you know this is uh, uh, that's his head so it's coming down right here because this is where the flame is gonna be okay so I'll just keep forgetting about the undo button there we go okay so that's the next thing. Then I go to the next layer. Then from there, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit more to give my brush size a little bit bigger. So my next layer is, I just go up a little bit more, um, but because I'm using that light, I'm just gonna go up a little higher. Go back to my brush tool, select my brush palette. Now this is where um, it's just basically experiencing on your software. Now if, if I come here and I do this, I'm gonna zoom in so you're gonna see. So as you can see, as I paint in this space, I'm starting to create this, look. So there's some light. So I'm now defining some sort of tone. There we go. 
right? Because there's some light coming from here and you know, it, I'm, I'm just brushing it and causing it a nice soft like that. Hellboy has this, you know, something like this. This gives you a little bit more definition. Widen the brush a little bit and uh, like that, okay? So now I'm just starting to make some edges. Maybe this is a little bit like that, All right? See, we can see um, maybe a big bigger like that. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it back. Uh, I'm just gonna say his he's got a predominant um, cheekbone like that. Uh, I guess he, he is a demon. Um, so as you can see, okay. So let's pull back a little bit so you, you have an idea. All right. So I'm gonna put some a little bit of of, of highlight over the ear. All right. So as I go over the spot, you can see a little bit better. Let me change the background to a little bit darker so you have an idea what it looks like. There we go. Okay. So now as I go over that spot, right, uh, make sure you're on the same layer there. So I'm gonna on a little bit of highlight layer. I want like that. So now I'm, I'm, I'm actually creating a, a definition or for the for the, uh, the character. I want a little bit maybe you know that big thick muscle right there. It's okay if you go beyond that. Um, some software like the Adobe Photoshop, Manga Studio, and stuff like that. They they have a, um, a feature. Um, called transparency lock that means that you can lock transparency and go over this edge here with it and it doesn't you know doesn't draw a lot of attention uh, see it doesn't uh, cause the streak but what I do is for me it's just I go over it because I can just come in see with a nice sharp eraser a sharp edge and just erase that away and just come back here give you an idea what it looks like there we go Normally I would take my time for this, um, but I'm just going really quick to show you. Uh, again, I think that could be a highlight. Yep. Pick that layer. Now, um, as you can see, I, I just go through and, you know, I'm jumping from layer, layer, layer like that. Um, that's because, you know, if you're, you're not, you're, you're not very comfortable with, um, uh, if you're still new at this, you can still go back and, and, and fix it. So let's go up the top of the head a little bit and you know give them a bit more because we, we know there's going to be a lot of uh, light up here so i'm just gonna give them you know a sheen up on top maybe a sheen right there and we know for sure this will be a sheen right there so you, you know you try to you know, rotate your canvas rotate your device rotate whatever it is you need to do to give you so i'm just going to give them a little bit of uh, some bumps here to say hey look he's got a thick forehead because this horns coming out and it's doing something to his head right um, like that so I just give it a little bit more so now as you can see I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm creating a, a little bit of a, a depth for him and as you can see I can go through this spot and just keep going over and over and over right so you can end there or something like that, but in most cases, because there's going to be red flames, uh, a little bit lighter and stuff like that. Um, if you like the, the 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 way it looks now, you can just basically collapse the the. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another layer, and maybe go a little bit of a higher, uh, or just go back to this color and just go up. Yeah, right around there or something like that. Now I can go over with a little bit finer, and you can see. It's starting to create this. See, it's starting to just go over certain areas. If you want a little bit, for example, this right here. So it looks like it's more of a white. Right. Like that. 
around the edge of the ear. Like that, right? If you want, see? I'm not really doing anything. Um, there we go. I don't think I'm doing anything fantastic. I'm just trying to create depth. And that's what I'm doing here, is just by layering on, uh, there we go. So I'm just trying to create some sort of depth on the character, right? And you can just go like that, because I know the, the light will shine between the horn. So that will give the, the character a little bit more. Okay, so I'm starting to repeat myself here. Sorry, sorry everyone. Um, so, you know, you can just add a little bit here and there. Now, after that, I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, if, if you're satisfied with the way it looks and stuff like that, then you can do the rest of the other stuff too. So, I mean here, like the same way I, I would do the eyes, for example. Let's make the eye um, uh, something. Yeah, let's do this nice purple. So, I go in and put in a solid purple. And actually, it's a horrible, horrible idea. Go with the yellow. There we go. Here is the eyes. Bec uh, if you notice, I'm just painting around. That's because if I turn off the ink layer here on top, this is what you're looking at. All right? You can fine tune it, go in and stuff like that, but this is what I'm doing. So, for example, I did this, but I'm just going to paint right on top of it. I'm just going to go with a lighter yellow with a transparency brush and just pull back. So now I'm just doing this. Oh, look at that. So I'm creating this glow as I go over. As I pass over it, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Now, most cases, if he's got a glowing eyes, then you're going to have to have some sort of cast. So I'm just going to pull a little bit more from here so that it gives you... I don't want too much. Just enough. Right? That, that right there is too much. Right? So just take your brush and just clean that out. Just go over it again. Right. So it's a good idea to actually create a layer if you make a mistake because I wiped off some other stuff that was in there too. So, you know, a little bit like that. So, one of these, let's go with a little darker yellow. That should have been. So, as you can see, I can do this. Because I know I'm gonna, it's going to be some sort of a little yellow here. Just to give it as if the flames coming off the, uh, the crown and you can see a little bit of it like that so that gives it a bit more depth so you can see as I get better than or, or something and I just add more if I need it to you know that gives it that, that. but in most cases I'll probably just go almost a yellow white and that would give it like that. See, so I'm just exaggerating here, of course. But so let's let's say it's you know that's my masterpiece there, right? So ideally, it's really I'll turn these guys off. I'll just compress them. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So if I actually go back to the original, this is what it looks like. There's the shadow. There's my highlight. A little bit more. So I added yellow instead. So I caused more yellow flame. And then I have this white space. Right? There we go. Okay? So now that we got that, let's uh, do the background. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. So let's say that I have a, I guess, a pencil brush or a brush tool that lets you do this. See, it's it's a noise brush. It's just noisy, like, you know, right? So what I do with that is because, you know, you have to figure out what kind of flame you want to do, right? So let's, if I, if for example, if I want blue flames, I would start with like a really dark base. That's how I, I work anyways. So I just zoom back out a little bit more. So you can, so it's actually pretty small on my canvas. What that allows me to do is give me a larger brush area. 
right? Again, my transparency on my brush is, you know, maybe I'll go down to about 35, 36 around there. And I just basically, you know, paint the direction. So because I'm, I'm doing a blue flame, it should be, you know, and this is just my background. So I'm using an airbrush tool. It's not, so actually for you to see it properly, I need to go to a blue. That's too close. There we go. So this is my my flame. Okay, so that's my first base, right? Then I create a second layer. Maybe I'll go a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna jump a little bit higher up and you can see. And I'm just, based on my brush size and brush strokes. It's got to do this randomness so it looks like some sort of flame. Like that. Okay, then eventually I guess we're going to go with a more intense So that's pretty much how I go about doing that. So the end result, of course, is, right, uh, here is the red, right? And over here, I know I probably put a lot more yellow in this one layer, just paint on uh, the, the flames I want than the white just to cause that more of a, a blow. So uh, as things get close to the center, it's it's more white and, and whatnot. So as I can see, I can just basically change my, there we go, my tone. And so we end up with my apologies. We end up with our Hellboy character. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, questions, comment, uh, head over to my Google Plus. Uh, check out my collection for my uh, daily stuff. Uh, you'll see my link to my Instagram account uh, and and whatnot. Um, let me know what you think. All right, thanks a lot.